Hi guys, my name is Ted and I'm a product designer at Flutterweb. I want to walk you through what we've been building for the past couple of days. Welcome to my dashboard. I'm going to walk us through two processes. The first process is how to set up your store and add products to the store. The second process will be how your customers will pay you and use your store. So I'm going to click on the store. Um, by default, you have no products or store. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my own store now. My business name is my store name by default. I'm going to go and change mine to something else. I'm going to go with drinks and let's see, fun. You'll notice that I updated my store URL to reflect my store name. I am going to leave my store offline because I want to add products to my store before I take it live. I have successfully created my store. I now have my store name and my store URL. My URL is what I'm going to share with my customers for them to be able to make payments. You can only have one store on your Flutterweb account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add just one product. It's good to know that you can have more than one product. I'm going to go ahead and call this Tiger Nut Milk. Tiger Nut Milk goes for about 1,000 Naira right now. Milk that's made from Tiger Nut. I'm just going to go with 0.28 and I have 10 items in stock. Next step is to take my store online. Now my store is online. I am going to proceed to the customer page, which is basically your storefront. As you can see here, Drinks and Fun as the name of my store. Flutterway Store Demo is the name of my account. We have here the description of my store. Um, as you can see, Tiger Nut Milk. I'm going to go ahead and add two bottles of Tiger Nut Milk. Click on Pay. I'm going to go ahead and refill this. Now we have a lot of payment options. You can give your customers a lot of payment options.